We continue now at the top of Daf Yud Zayin on the in Maseches Nazir. This is Nazir Daf 17b. And the previous summit, Rava asked, let's say a person is in a cemetery and he, de- he declares Naziris. So we said, according to Rabbi Yochanan, that he gets Malkus for being in the cemetery. And so the question that Rava asked is, does he need to be in that cemetery for a certain amount of time, like we find by someone who's in the Beis HaMikdash when he's Tameh? Or do we say, no, immediately, the moment he's in that cemetery as a Nazir, so he gets Malkus. And so the Gemara said, what exactly is the case? If the case is that that we're warning the person, do not declare yourself a Nazir, so in that case, certainly he should not need to be there for any amount of time. It should be the same thing as when we warn a regular Nazir not to enter a cemetery. So there also, if he goes into the cemetery, even for the shortest amount of time, he gets Malchus. The same should be true over here. If we tell the person not to become a Nazir when, he is in, when he's in the cemetery and he declares Naziris, he should get Malchus no matter how long he's in the cemetery. And so the Gemara clarifies Rava's question. al rather, the question is as follows. Let's say the situation is where the person entered, he was in a chest or a box or a closet, meaning he was encompassed in some way by something that prevents him from becoming Tami. And then his friend comes along and takes off the top of this chest or whatever he's in, and therefore he's going to become Tomei because it's no longer protecting him. So in that situation, we now tell him that he needs to leave the cemetery. So the question is, does he have a certain amount of time to leave? And as long as he leaves within that amount of time, he's not going to get Malchus? Or no, immediately he's going to get Malchus. And the Gemara explains, Ki gemirin Maybe this concept that he has to be there for a certain amount of time, that's talking about specific specifically in the Beis HaMikdash. I love Avalav Roilo, but if it's outside the Beis HaMikdash, we don't apply that halacha. Odil Maloshna, or maybe it doesn't make any difference, and the Gemara says, take the Gemara leaves that as a question. And the Gemara continues, Boy Ravashi, Ravashi asks the following question, Nazar v'hu beveis ha'kvaris, let's say a person declares his Naziris when he's in the cemetery, Ton giluach olo, does he require shaving or not? Meaning to say, in a normal situation, when a person is a Nazir and he becomes Tameh, so then he has to purify himself, he has to shave, and he has to begin the Naziris anew. So is the same thing true in a situation where the person declared the Naziris while he was in the cemetery? Does he require this shaving or not? Kiboy teglachas, maybe the only time that shaving is required, is by tar shenitma, by someone who's pure, who becomes Tameh, to come at Tameh l'Naziruse, there he has defiled his Naziris. Avol Tameh shenazar lo. But if he was in a Beis HaKvaris, if he was Tameh already, and he declares Naziris, so maybe in that case, shaving is not required. Oh, Dilmor, maybe lo shna, maybe there is no difference. And the Gemara says, Tashma, come and hear a proof from our Mishnah. Mishnah Nazar, it says, somebody declares Naziris in the cemetery. Even if he was there for 30 days, it doesn't count towards the number of days of the Naziris. He doesn't have to bring a carbon tumma. Normally, again, when a Nazar Tahar becomes Tame, he has to bring this carbon tumma. Here it says he doesn't have to bring a carbon tumma. And we infer as follows Carbon tumma, who the Lomais, he doesn't have to bring a carbon tumma. But we can infer that he does have to shave. And the Gemara says, not necessarily. It could be it's giving you a reason. What's the reason he doesn't bring carbon toma mishum de because there is no requirement to shave. So it could be the Mishnah indicates either way. It could be there is no requirement to shave. And the Gemara continues to Hashma, come and hear the following proof. And this is from the same Brisa quoted on the previous Amma. The Brisa says, Ein bein tamesh nazar, nazar tar There's no difference between someone who's in the cemetery, he's tame and he declares Naziris to somebody, to a Nazar who's pure, and then he goes into the cemetery or he becomes tame. There's no distinction except for the following. Elo, except, tame shen nazar shvi shalo ololom and aminyan. If you have a person who's in the cemetery and declares Naziris, so already on the seventh day when he becomes pure, so that becomes the beginning of the count of the days of Naziris. The Nazar tar but if you have a pure Nazar who becomes Tame, Ein Shvi Shalom, Ein Shvi Shalom, Ola Lom and Amin, in the seventh day, doesn't start the Naziris, because as we said, he has to wait till the eighth day to bring those Karbonas. And so the Gemara says, My love, isn't this uh, Brysa saying, Halitaglachas Zevazeshavin, that in terms of shaving, they're both the same. This is the only distinction between them, whether it starts on the seventh day or the eighth day, but there's no difference in terms of shaving. And the Gemara says, Lo, no, not necessarily, Holomalkas Zevazeshavin. It might just be saying that in terms of receiving Malkus, they're equal, but maybe in terms of shaving, they're not the same. But the Gemara says, Avel teglachas mai, but then what are you saying by shaving? Ze megalech, ze eno megalech, that this one shaves and this one doesn't shave. So listen, 
So it should have just taught that as well. It should have said that in the situation where the person is in the cemetery when he declares the Naziris, there's no requirement to shave. And the Gemara says, Tana Shvi Shalo Vechol Mili. Once it says on the seventh day, so it really is implying everything that goes along with that. It could be there is a distinction when it comes to shaving. As Rashi over here says, Lisnie, it should have said the distinction in shaving. And the Gemara's answered, no, Tana Shvi Shalo Vechol Mili, meaning Dohachi Mashma, Shvi Shalo, what the price implies as follows, the seventh day, and it counts towards the days of the Naziris. And what's the reason for that? That's because he doesn't bring a carbon. Why doesn't he bring a carbon? Because he doesn't require shaving. So really that's already included in the distinction the Brisa makes. And the Gemara continues, Tashma, come here a proof from the following Brisa. I only know that the days of Tumah, they don't count towards the number of days of the Naziris, meaning if a Nazir becomes Tameh, those days of, of Tumah don't count towards his term of Naziris. How do I know that's true during the days where he's a confirmed Mitzorah? And the Brisa says, Vidinu, we can learn it out as follows. Just like during the days of Tuma, he shaves and he brings a carbon. So too, during the days when he's a confirmed mitzori, he shaves and bring a carbon. He shaves and brings a carbon. And therefore, we can compare the two. Just like the days of Tuma, they don't count towards the number of days of the Naziris. So too, the days when he's a confirmed mitzori, those days do not count towards the days of the Naziris. But the Ibraisa says, Loi Ma'amrit be made tumaso, but maybe it's only true by the days of Tumma, Shekane Mevatil Bahenas Akodman, because those days they actually nullify anything he counted before. By Tumma, as we've said, he has to start the entire count over again. And Lafikach ain't Olin Lomen Aminion. We can say that therefore that's the reason those days don't count towards the number of days of Naziris. But Tomar be mechiluto, but you can argue that the days when he's a confirmed Mitsora, Shainu Mevatil as Akodman, it doesn't undo the days he's already counted. We've mentioned that earlier by Tsaras, it does doesn't undo the count, it just suspends it. So Lafika Cholin Lomina Minion. So therefore, maybe those days when he's a confirmed Mitsora, it actually does count towards his number of required days of Naziris. And so the Brisa says, no, you can't make that argument. Amrit, because we can say as follows, Uman Nazir Bekever. If you're talking about a Nazir in the Kever, meaning to say a person who declares his Naziris when he's in the cemetery, Shesaro Roy Litiglachas, that his hair is fit to be shaved, Ain Olin Lomen Aminion, and the days don't count towards the number of days of Naziris. So Yemechi Lutos, the days of a confirmed Mitzorah, She'ain Roy Litiglachas, which are not fit for shaving, Lo Kol Shekain, She'ain Olin Lomen Aminion. Certainly those days should not count towards the number of the the days of the Naziris. And the Gemara now wants to understand what does this Brisa mean? My love, isn't it saying, Tiglachas Tumah, we're talking about the shaving that is done for Tumah. And the Brisa means to say that if a person declares himself a Nazir in the Beisach Varus, there is shaving in that situation. That would be an answer to our question. And the Gemara says, Lo, no, that's not what this Brisa means at all. Tiglachas Tahara, this Brisa is talking about the shaving that's done when the Nazir is pure, meaning the shaving that is done at the completion of a regular Nazirus. And the Gemara says, Hachin Amistavra, this makes sense as well. And Rashi explains, Tashma, come in here a proof from the Brisa, Ainli Shaloyu Olin Lo Minaminyan Eliyamei Tomaso. I only know that the days of Tuma don't count towards the number of days of the Naziris. Kedichsiv Yisrael Hashem Vesimei Nizro, Vekidesh Esrosho Bayomahu, Demashma Me Oso Hayom Vaelach Shevi Karbonoso, meaning the count starts from when the person brings the Karbonos. Yitzchaper, that's when he gets a Kapara. This is talking about a Nazir who becomes Tomei, purifies himself, brings the Karbonos. Vyasre Limnos, Limei Nizro, that's when he begins to count the days of the Naziris, those days don't count. How do we know the days when he's a Mitzora? Let's say he, be, he gets Saras during the days of his Naziris, and he's confirmed that he has Saras. How do we know those days don't count towards the Naziris? So the Brisa said, just like during the days of Tumah, he shaves. This is talking about Teglachas Tumah. It's talking about, again, the shaving that's done when the person becomes Tame, so he has to shave, who may be carbon sipor, and then he brings those Karbonas. So Avi Mechigluto. So the same thing is true during the days when he's a Mitzora, Tehsiv, because what does it say by Mitzora also? The Mitzora shaves. It says Vikibes Hamataris Begodov. It says he has to wash his clothing, Vigilach has called Soro, and the Mitzora shaves all his hair. Uhsivovayomashmini Yikach Shnei Kvosim, and it says he brings Karbonus. This is talking about on the eighth day. So 
it's the same kind of process. So ain't all in law. So again, just like the days of Tumah, they don't count towards the Nazirus. So too, these days of Tsaras, they don't count towards the Nazirus. But then the Brysa argued there's a distinction because by Tumah, it actually undoes the previous count. Shekem Mevatel Ben Kodman. It says it nullifies the earlier days you counted. You have to start the count over by Tumah. Maybe by Mitzor, where you don't start the count over. Maybe those days do count. Tumah Bimechilut Hashem Mevatel Ben Kodman. During the days when he's a Mitzor, it doesn't undo it. For example, if a person has a long Nazirus, that's what it says over there. Maybe just like it doesn't nullify the previous count, maybe the days when he's a Mitzorah actually does count towards the days of the Nazirus. And so the Brysa said, you can't say that, Amrit Uman Nazir Bekever, because we can argue as follows. Just like by a Nazir Bekever, meaning he declares the Nazirus, Nazir Vuhu Beves Akvara Shasaro Roy, it talks about the fact that a Nazir, when he declares the Nazirus in the Beis Akvaris, so his hair is fit to for shaving. And so now the Gemara wants to understand what does that mean? My lavda isn't it saying as follows? Teglachas the tumma. We're talking about the shaving that's done because of the tumma. Meaning the kevan shehiza vishana v'taval. What the brisa means to say is when the person sprinkles and he sprinkles on the third and the seventh day and he immerses at that point in time megalchenoso they shave him. We're talking about the fact that the nazar bekever has this teglachas for tumma shaves for tumma ushmami no deton giluach. And the point over here is you see from the brisa that shaving is required for a nazar bekever v'achimashma ma nazar bekever shesaru just like a Nazir Bekever, he declares Nazirs in the cemetery, his hair is fit to be shaved, Zion ain't known in Lomin Aminion, those days don't count for, towards the number of days of Nazirs. Yemechi Luto, so the days when he's a confirmed Mitzora, She'ein Asaro Roy Litiglachas Tumma, over there there's no shaving for Tumma reasons, you're not shaving by Mitzora because of the fact that you become a Mitzora, like by a case where the Nazir is Tame, where he shaves because of the Tumma. El Litiglachas Tsaras, that's just a shaving that happens because of the tsaras, lo kol shekein, dein ola lo. Certainly, those days should not count. And the Gemara then said, lo teglachas tatara, the shaving that we're referring to by the Nazir is actually not talking about the shaving that's done for Tumma, it's talking about the shaving that's done at the completion of the term, the normal shaving of the Nazir of purity. Meaning, she'im lo nichnas lekever. Let's say he didn't enter into a cemetery. Inami nichnas lekever vinitor. Let's say he entered the cemetery, purified himself. V'yachrakach hishlam yimei nizro. And the point is, he completed his nazirus. Shuton giluach l'sov shloshim. He requires shaving at the end of the term, at the end of the 30 days. Dahachi mashma, what it means is as follows. Shesar roi l'teglachas tahara. His hair is fit to be shaved. The regular shaving that's done on a pure mitzora. She'in megaleach teglachas toma. The point is, he doesn't shave the teglachas toma. If he's a Nazar Bekever, the Bryce is just referring to the regular shaving that's done at the end. But when we're talking about the days when the person's a Mitzorah, there you're not doing the shaving of a Nazar of Tahara, there you're doing the shaving of a Mitzorah at the end of seven days. And that's the comparison that the Bryce is making. We'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Yud Ches Ahmed Aleph.